Hello my dear friends, welcome to my channel. In our previous video, we have discussed about dependency injection in spring. And I have told you that there are two ways to inject our dependencies. First one by using setter injection and second one by using constructor. Now in this particular video, we will discuss that how we can inject our dependencies by using setter injection for primitive data types, string objects and wrapper classes. So let us try to understand this concept by the help of Java program. So friends, I have created one project with the name dependency injection setter method with primitive and string. And inside our project, I have created an bean class with the name student. Now here you can see that inside our bean class, I have defined different properties with the name roll number, which is of primitive data type that is int. And second property is an student name, which is of a string type. And third one is an percentage, which is of double type. And inside our bean class, you can see that we have created an setter getter methods. And here you can notice that we have not created any constructor. So when we have to inject our dependencies by using setter injection, then in that case, we have to define an setter methods for our properties inside our bean class. And I have also created one method inside our student class that is student details. And inside this method, we are printing the values for different fields. Now let us discuss about our configuration file that is application context.xml. So inside our application context, you can see that we have defined an bean and its ID is student bean. And this is the fully qualified class name for our bean that is student. And inside our bean tag, you can see that we are using a property tags. So friends, when we have to inject our dependencies by using setter injection, then we can inject those dependencies by using property tag. So inside our property tag, you can see that we are having a name attribute. So this is the name of our property and this is the value of our property that is n. Similarly, for student name property, we have given its value as Chetan. And for percentage property, we have given its value as 92.5. And when we use property tags inside our bean tag, then it assigns the values to the properties by using setter methods. That is set roll number, set student name and set percentage method. And for testing our application, I have created one class with the name test with primitive strings. And inside our class, I have created a main method. And in this statement, you can see that we are creating a context object. Now, my dear friends, this abstract application context is an abstract class. And this abstract class internally implements the configurable application context interface, which further extend our application context. And here we are using a class path XML application context, and this is the name of our configuration file. Now, in our next statement, you can see that we are using a getBean method of our context class. And here we are passing an ID of our bean, which we have defined that is student bean. So at runtime, it will return an object of a student bean. And in our next statement, we are calling an student bean methods of our student bean. And then we are closing the context. Now let us try to run our program. So friends, in console, you can see that we are getting our output. And these are the values which we have defined inside our configuration file. That is rule number equals to 10. Student name is Chetan and percentage is 92.5. So friends, I hope that you are able to understand that how easily we can inject our dependencies by using setter method by the help of property tags and setter methods. And friends, in our next tutorial, we will discuss that how we can inject our dependencies by using setter injection for dependent objects.